Yo, yo, yo. Get your asses in here, folks. You know what time it is. It's time to get funky, baby. Up daily number 77. Get your tits in here. Get your asses in here. Get whatever the fuck you got to get in here. Sit down in front of me. Let me talk at you for a minute. Let me find my motherfucking pause button. And let's get to it, everybody. Up daily 7-7. Seven, seven. One of my favorite mixed drinks. The 7 and 7. You never had one? Check it out. I can't do too many mixed drinks. I'm a beer guy myself. I got, I got a beer, guys. Let's fucking drink a beer together. Let's fine. Let's have us an up daily. Let's chat. I got a lot to talk about today. I've had a lot of feelings lately. I've been holding them back like any man should, but I'm ready to spill them all to you guys. So get your asses in here. Let's see what I got to say. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about anxiety. I have had that goddamn pit of anxiety for a while now. I'll get into all of it, but I'm switching careers. I'm trying something new. Of, of course, I'm I'm anxious about it. I think anybody in their right mind would be anxious about it after working somewhere for seven years total and going somewhere brand new. You know, I have a lot of things to be anxious about. And as a as a comedian, the reason I love making jokes is because I think about things so much i think about every scenario every this every that and then that's what i make the jokes about it afterwards but going to a new job i'm so focused on what if this what if that i'm i have no idea what to expect you know what i mean like this is this is brand new so my what ifs still haven't ended so i haven't had i I, i'm like hating myself because i feel like i haven't been funny lately and that's always my favorite goal. I, I, I just want to make people happy at the end of the day. So I, I've just had this nasty, mushy, yucky pit in my stomach that hasn't went away. Every time I think about my future now, I get all freaked out. So I, I've... That, that, that's that been the, the biggest thing weighing on me, everybody, is just I'm, I'm getting ready to do something new, you know? I mean, God dogged. You don't just go and do something new every day like this, but it's crazy. I've been doing all kinds of new stuff. I've Just the last few months, I've been living wild. I, I tried stand-up comedy for the first time. I've been writing jokes. I, I do this motherfucker every day now. I'm getting ready to start a new job. I bought a new car. I'm just, I'm trying everything brand new. Fuck it. I'm 32 years old. I want to, I, I have plenty of time to figure shit out. So this is my new jab at life. And it's given me just a pit in my stomach that makes me feel like I have to take a huge shit every time I think about it. So anyways, I want to get that off my chest. That's what I've just been dealing with. It's just that old nasty pit of anxiety. So if you guys have any uh, tips or words of encouragement, throw them at me. Cause it's uh, you know, it's wild. I'm, I'm just busy thinking about everything. The what ifs, the this, the that. I know I'm gonna be working my ass off. They're gonna be working me overtime. They're gonna, you know, I, I I know what to expect, but I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. I won't know until I start it. You know what I mean? So that's that's the crazy thing about getting a new job. Like you're just kind of gambling on it, being better than what you're doing right now. Who knows if it will? Who knows if it won't? I just think it's uh, time for me to try something new, and and even though I, everything in my belly is telling me that I should just stay safe, I ain't no fucking pussy. I ain't gonna say I'm not gonna stay goddamn safe. You know? Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to live 40 years and be like, oh, I lived the easiest cushiony life I've ever fucking lived. You know, I have never worried about it. No. We're supposed to struggle, folks. We're supposed to have hard times. We're supposed to work hard sometimes. That's part of being a fucking human. So, anyways, thanks for being my counselors, everybody. Uh, work was regular today, just like all of my shits. I always have a good regular shit. Before working out, I always look forward to the after work poop. That's always one of my favorite ones. It hits me around like 3, 3.30. I'm like, I know it's coming. Uh, one, just one simple thought in the back of my mind, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is going to be a good one today. 
So regular work day though, sorry to get off track. Like a train in East Palestine, Ohio. Long day today. Uh, wasn't really anything interesting. Started off cold, sunshined all day. Uh, just genuinely enjoyed it. I soaked it all in. Realized I'm not going to be doing it much longer and had a good time. Sorry, I'm fidgeting over here, guys. I still have my box of crayons. I got, uh, I got one of these little electrical plugs I'm fucking with right now. Got my brewski, too. I don't try to drink too much in front of you guys because it just creates dead air. Like, every time I take a drink, it takes, like, five, six seconds of just quietness. But I'll do it anyways because you guys are here with me. You made it this long, you're going to stay through the beer drinking. Mmm, that was a 10. Anyways, got done with work today. We got our asses out of there a little after 3.30. Got home and just did a family hangout. I, I love getting home. I, I have a big window. I got a desk in front of it. I always just kick my feet up. I hang out there with the kids for a while. We, we just sit up there in the, in the dining room uh, for usually a good hour after work. I drink a brewski, see if the kids want to talk to me. Most of the times they don't have much to say. I try to ask them about their days until they get annoyed with me or I get annoyed with them because some of those stories, folks, whoo, boring. No, their, kid, their stories are great. I care all about their little friends and all their little drama. So I hung, hung out with the fam, watched some Family Feud. That's one of my goddamn favorite shows. Just a regular night. I'm, I'm trying to make a story out of nothing. Uh, news is wild right now, folks. I'm, I haven't even made any more jokes on the news here lately because I've been too focused with everything else. But I'm working on getting everything else back on track. That's all I got for you guys. I've been fucking chatting your ass off about my anxiety and personal problems. I'll catch your tits again tomorrow. And as always, stay classy, Lancaster.